Vintage Market Paint Studio in Huntsville, Alabama, and today I'm going to show you how to do an ombre effect using DIY paint. DIY paint is a chalk and clay based paint that is highly pigmented. Do an ombre effect. You, I'm going to start really dark and then go light. I'm painting this um, guitar cut out of plywood for a project that I'm working on. I began my ombre effect with bohemian blue and hay sailor at the bottom, ending with white swan at the top. I'm going to start dark at the bottom of this and work my way up to, to lighter at the top. Okay, to start out, I just like to go in and just put some paint right on the bottom. And the navy is the darkest. This ombre effect that I'm doing is going to kind of create a sort of dark to light, faded blue jeans, faded denim sort of look. And I want to put a little bit of Bohemian Blue mixed in with the Hay Sailor. Um, it's a little bit darker than the Bohemian Blue, so I like to start with it at the very bottom to get that darkest, darkest color. And if I need to come back and make it darker, I could add more of the Hay Sailor, or I can even come back and add some black if I want to deepen it further. I'm adding to my palette Old 57, Apothecary, and Prom Queen. Now I'm going to start adding in a little bit of color. I'll just kind of dab it in all of it and I'll start where I left off and continue to come up. And as you're working this, if it's not blending as well as you want, mist it with water. So I keep a little spray bottle of water handy to give it a little mist as I go to kind of keep it flowing and blending. Okay, that's looking really nice already. Go back and get a little bit of more of those three colors. Okay, that's making it even lighter. I always like to paint my edges. Just continue working your way up. A lot of people like to do ombre effect on their chest of drawers or dressers, and you can do this on each individual drawer. In that case, you might not want to do it like this, but I'm doing one solid piece. I'll just blend it. If I'm doing something like a dresser drawer, then I'll have separate palettes of paint color mixed to do each drawer as I go up, giving the same effect, but not one melding into the other like you see here. You can just add white to the color you started with, pure, and add a little bit more white each time going up to create that ombre effect. But I like the way this blended look works out. Now I'm gonna go on and double dip into my white paint, which I'm not getting much on there anyway, just because I've already got most of the paint off onto my guitar as you see here. All right, I'm gonna mist again. Keep blending the colors and misting with water until you get a nice ombre effect. Keep working with it, adding the dark to light colors that you need to get a distinct ombre effect. Mist with water and blend your colors and eventually you'll have it. Now, I'm going to go on and mist this instead of wetting my brush because I don't want to take too much of the under color off of my brush. Alright, now I'm just going to go to the very top, put the white on, work my way down and then work my way back up again. That way it's still really light, but it's not solid white. Now you could go white, white for your final top part, but I like to still have a bit of the tone that I started with in my brush and not have it completely white at the top. But typically you're gonna keep some of the color that you started with as you finish the lightest part of an ombre effect. So basically ombre is when you start with darker color, work your way light, or you start with light, work your way dark. So I really like the look of this blue because like I said, it really gives the look of an old faded pair of denim blue jeans. So, just a little bit more. Just about got it done. It's pretty quick on something this small. Okay. Once the paint dries, I will lightly sand and seal with a clear wax. Okay. 
for the finishing touches to my ombre jamming guitar, I used IOD decor molds by Iron Orchid Designs. I used the acanthus leaf mold and the mermaid mold and then glued them down, gilded them with gilder's paste to bring out the detail. And then I gilded the edges of the, of the guitar as you can see here. And I used upholstery tacks for attaching the leather strings, which were just leather straps from old braided leather belts that I pick up at thrift stores. And then I embellished it more with um, jewelry, brooches, seashells. It basically ended up being, as I worked with it, I decided to make it more themed for the person I was giving this to because she lives near the ocean. So the ombre effect with these blue tones worked well for a seaside theme as well as blue jeans. So you could go either way with this. So I went in the direction of a seaside mermaid ocean themed jamming guitar. One of our slogans with DIY paint that we like to pass on to our customers is because you can and I just added all it takes is a positive attitude and that's true you can do anything if you have a positive attitude I hope you enjoyed this tutorial today if you did subscribe to my channel and you can also follow my blog at www.vintagehuntsville.com